Okay, good morning. How's everybody doing? Uh, I should be eating this microphone, but I'm not going to treat it as a lollipop. Anyway, so uh, uh, hopefully everybody's doing pretty good today, coming back to watch what we're doing. Yeah, we're going to talk about the movie Dangerous, and we're gonna, I'm going to give you my whole opinion on the thing and give you a little description on how it worked. Pretty good movie. I thought so anyway, but it's a Eastwood movie. It's a Jason Eastwood movie, but it's an Eastwood movie. Uh, Clint Eastwood's son. So, basically, the beginning of the movie, they're showing a, a, a guy getting home from his day job that's a... Uh, um, and finds another guy in his in his, in his house. He's, you know, the, the Clint Eastwood, Jason Eastwood. Eastwood there is is the felon and got home and and uh found another guy in his thing he tortures him hangs him up in his uh shower breaks his ankle bracelet and heads off to the family uh funeral because he, he saw that on the refrigerator's family funeral today left a, he found a note on his refrigerator the whole nine yards because his sister came in during the day and gave him stuff and the other guy just, he was left, that was burglarizing his house. He was left hanging in the freezer, tortured. You know, he'll probably never do that again because the guy, the, the guy had changed his ways. He was big, bad murderer, psychopath type of, type of dangerous person when they uh, talked about him. And yes, I'm a little bored talking about this because I like the movie. It's good action thriller. So anyway, apparently this was off in New York, one of the islands that this, this family lived on. They tried to put an inn down there so people could come out and stay on the island and explore. But it never worked because um, Dad, the guy that passed away, um, or his brother, the guy that passed away was his brother, not his dad. Sorry, I got that wrong. Anyway, the guy that passed away, um, just barely getting it up and going, so they had the inn. That's where the family stay and they were all putting them in rooms at the end, you know, nobody home at the end. Then his old crew comes to looking for him since he, they find him out because that's where the money's hidden. Um, and they show a submarine picture which gives you a clue to what's going on in the whole movie. Then they, the, uh, the, the bad guy, the dangerous guy, uh, Eastwood, he, he get, they come looking for him. He gets out of the, the, um, uh, the inn, the mansion, whatever you want to call it, and is out on the thing. He's always talking to his therapist on the phone. I can't do this, do this, can I do this, can I do that? Trying to get permission so that he can go all hog wild on these guys. And throughout the whole movie, the therapist says no, so he doesn't kill him. He just tortures him and hangs him and leaves him for whatever. Then they find tunnels and get underground and find a, a pen and then where the gold's hidden and, and they get blackmailed and chased and all kinds of fun stuff going on on this island. I don't know if it's a place I'd want to visit. It's kind of one of those places where you'd hear lots of crickets. Eh, crickets. Crickets, aren't, crickets weren't working when I said it. Crickets aren't coming up. I'm hearing crickets now. Lots of crickets in the background. So anyway, they they uh, they run around killing each other on this island while the family's trying to stay inside the... Uh, inside the building and um, they do lots of crazy things and it's just kind of one of those things that is crazy and it's fun and it's 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 going to be nuts and you know that's the way it kind of works and it turns out they're using deck guns you know, he's one of the yeah one of the bad guys or one of the good guys used a de deck gun off of a a boat to shoot the bad guys while they were inside the pen. You definitely got to go watch this sucker. I'm telling you, this was a pretty good movie. It's it's uh, a recent movie too. You guys like recent movies, so you'll probably watch most of this. Scott Eastwood was the was the uh, star in this thing. And they have a bunch of other guys that go with it. Even Mel Gibson's involved in this one. Which is pretty good. You know, he's getting up there in age. He's been running around doing action movies, so I'm surprised he's even running around doing anything. Anyway, so 
the the movie um, was distributed by well, it was distributed by oh, a whole bunch of small private companies, Mind's Eye Entertainment, Fal Fal Falcon Productions, Lionsgate, U.S. and the U.K. And Mind's Eye, uh, Mind's Eye Entertainment in Canada. They must have filmed this just off of Canada too. So the let's see, it was November fifth, two thousand one. This thing was out. It ran ninety nine minutes. It, it was made in Canada. Made countries it was released in was Canada and the United States. It's English, of course. And the budget was eight million, and I don't have a answer for what it made at the other end, at the box office. And somebody will have to tell me what that is. But I'm pretty sure it made over a hundred million. It's a good movie. I liked it. If it even got in the box office, it may just went straight to DVD. It doesn't say here, but you know, I'm not always getting the correct information on this stuff. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy what we was talking about here. And uh, we'll kind of talk to you later. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.